Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to install a GFCI outlet. This will be an absolutely complete tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, this is a GFCI outlet. You can tell that it's a GFCI outlet because it has a test and a reset button on the front. It has the test and the reset buttons on the front. In addition, on the back, you'll see that there are labels for line and load, which I will explain in just a moment. These outlets are generally used for places that might have uh, dampness in them or moisture in them uh, nearby water. So for instance, in your kitchen, you might have these. Outside your house, in your exterior of your house, you might have these. Um, in your bathroom, you might have these. Anywhere where there is a possibility of any water water um, yeah any water around the outlet really that's what it comes down to so installing these is easy if you take a look at the outlet on the back you're gonna see that there are likely gonna be labels for the hot wire and the white wire which is the neutral wire and the ground screw is gonna be the green one on the bottom but I'll explain more about that in just a moment as you can see in this electrical box make sure that the power is shut off obviously this is just a mock-up this, there's not this is not connected to anything uh, but make sure that the power is shut off before you work with any electricity or electrical wiring at all you're gonna have a black wire which is your hot wire or your power wire you're gonna have a white wire which is your neutral wire and then you're gonna have a bare copper wire which is your ground wire okay very simple now on your GFCI outlet there's gonna be a side that is likely labeled hot wire but you'll and you'll know to put the black power hot wire right there okay the black wire or the hot wire or the power wire we sort of use the words interchangeably but you'll also know which side because it's gonna have the brass gold colored screws okay on the other side it's going to say white wire which obviously your white neutral wire goes there and it's gonna have the silver colored screws very important and then down here with the green colored screw is your your ground wire which is the bare copper wire that you see right over here now before you connect anything because the rest is very simple but there's gonna be a line and a load section so in this one you can see the top screws over here these two screws right here are for the line okay and the line is the power that is coming from your electrical panel okay so your electrical panel feeds the power to the line section of your GFCI and then if you want to connect other outlets after your GFCI um, you're gonna put those on the load section and if a GFCI is installed properly, those outlets on the load section should be protected with the same powers as the GFCI, with the sort of moisture, uh, dampness, uh, you know, uh, protection, um, if it's installed properly. So what you're gonna do is basically take your black wire, make sure that your wires have a little loop on them like that. Okay, let's get my screwdriver. Take your, your black wire, which is your hot wire, place it on the hot side, on the line portion of the hot side, okay? Which, like I said, is the brass colored screw. Hook it around like that, tighten the screw down nicely. Make sure when you hook that wire around, very important, that the hook is traveling in the same direction as the tightening of the screw. In this case, it's obviously clockwise, so I am going to be tightening it um, the, the hook goes clockwise, I'm tightening the screw clockwise. Very simple, tighten that screw down nice and tightly. Don't be afraid to be generous with your torque. Tighten it down really tightly, okay? Once again, we're connecting this on the line side because it's coming from the panel. Obviously, the power is going to be off. This is not connected to anything, like I said. It's not connected to anything at all. There's just loose wiring that I had. But make sure that your power is off. Okay, on the other side of the line side, you're gonna see a silver colored screw, which is going to be for your neutral. Okay, loop it around, make sure the loop is in the same direction of the tightening of the screw, tighten that screw down, don't be afraid to be generous with how tight you are, you are tightening it down, okay? Make sure that, that, that loop is locked in there nicely too. You see how the loop is nice and tucked away behind the screw? That's the way you want it to be. You don't want the loop to be sticking out and be at risk of being pulled out at any moment um, with any amount of force. And you know, make sure it's in there, okay? Next up, we take our ground screw, which is down here at the bottom. It's already loose. Um, in this case, we're gonna hook this around it once again, making sure that your loop is in the same direction as the tightening of your screw, okay? Just get your ground wire on that green screw, the bare copper wire, tighten it down nicely, 
just like that. Very simple, make sure it's nice and tight. In this case, the loop wasn't good enough. You see that ground wire just came out. You know, when you do electrical, it's gonna be there for a long time. You're, 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 you're gonna be doing this one time and it's probably gonna be like that for a long time. So make your loops nice, get them in place, get them nice and tightly and nice and secure. Okay, your idea here is that you wanna, you wanna do this once and you never wanna have to think about it again. As you can see, that loop is nice and behind that green uh, screw. There we go, tighten it down really nicely. As you can see, we have now uh, installed it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna secure it to the box, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort of get your wires and you wanna zigzag them. So tuck them down and then tuck them up, okay? Tuck them down and tuck them up, all right? Just like that. Now I didn't show the process for installing the box and the wiring and the connect or anything like that. I'm assuming that you already have those there. That's a whole different process. If you wanna see that in another video specifically, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to make it happen, okay? Now you're gonna have two screws that secure the GFCI outlet to the electrical box. In this case, I only have one. It's just, you know, what I had lying around. Um, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to tighten both of those screws onto the box. Like I said, in my case, I only have one. Uh, like, obviously, if I was doing this in a real life situation, I'd have two screws. Um, make sure you use two screws. You want that box to be nice and secure in there. Um, however, uh, because I'm just doing a mock-up for this video, I figured, uh, you know, I'll show you with one, and hopefully you understand that you need two, okay? Very simple, this part is easy. You just secure it down. Like I said, I'm securing it with one, and then you'd secure the second one as well like that. Then you put your faceplate on and you're good to go. You've installed your GFCI outlet. It's literally that simple. Not hard to do at all. Make sure that your power is off before you work with the wiring. Make absolutely sure that there is no power going to this wiring. Make sure, it is extremely important. You never wanna work with live wires. Always exercise safety. And if you don't feel comfortable doing this, then call an electrician or call a professional. And that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.